We got really some news this week, in, in no small way because of what happened with the 10-year yield on the Treasury, which really spiked up. It's still a modest number overall, but it climbed really quickly. And you and I have talked about the question, if we really have an inflation problem, why isn't the 10-year yield going up? Look, it may be that this is a recognition of some combination of the fact that we're going to have more inflation and that the Fed's going to do more than people thought it was going to need to do in order to uh, contain uh, inflation. You know, once these things start, they sometimes have a tendency uh, to trend. So I stand by my view that markets are substantially underestimating what's likely to happen to interest rates before too long. You know, if you look at the so-called Taylor rules, predictions of Fed behavior, and you feed any kind of traditional Taylor rule through with the way current economic data is running, it points you to a pretty substantial concern about uh, inflation overheating. So I've got pretty real uh, anxieties. I think what's happening with oil makes the kind of parallel that I've drawn to the 60s and 70s look more real. We just seem to be having a lot of surprising bad shocks that are lasting longer than you think. And when you keep being surprised again and again, it suggests that there's a pattern and you're missing it. I think that's a bit the case with inflation. And of course, this week, we saw some growing sense that while Europe is not nearly as far along in this as we are, that even in Germany, uh, inflation's right, rising to uh, surprising levels for them.